Well, good morning this Monday morning. Welcome to Kings at Home Daily from me, Goff. Glad you could join us as we do our study. We're going through the book of Colossians in the New Testament, uh, where we get wonderful um, glimpses of the glory, the beauty of who Jesus is. As I've been saying this last little while, that's so key to, our, to, to the delight that we find as Christians in our daily devotions. It's not all about duty. Duty is important, but delight is really important. And we find that when we contemplate the Lord Jesus. And there's much to look at here. But before we begin, let me pray because I need help this morning more than usual. Lord Jesus, thank you. You are overwhelming. You are amazing. Our Father, Father, we come to you and say, would you open our eyes to see beautiful things this morning as we spend these few moments together reading your precious word. So come and help us, I pray, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we're at verse 15 in Colossians chapter 1. We're, we're beginning this, this uh, what some people, it's, it's often called a, 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 a hymn, um, uh, it, it, this description of the Lord Jesus, it's so majestic. Some people think it's, uh, it was uh, used as a hymn amongst the first Christians. Um, I don't know, it's beautifully written and it, uh, it, it's, it's full of beautiful truth. Uh, coming, just coming to speak about these verses this morning, I feel a bit like, um, I think it was J.I. Packer with his normal wit. He said uh, he, he felt, I feels like a... A, a, a very small mouse nibbling at a very large lump of cheese. <laughs> and I feel quite overwhelmed um, the prospect of unpacking these verses here. So let's go. Verse 15. The Son, the Lord Jesus, is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him... All things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, with the thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. Wow. How big is your vision of the Lord Jesus? Let me, let me start by saying this. Christianity is not all about me or you, really isn't. Sometimes people can reduce it to that. And sometimes the gospel is sometimes even spoken of like that. You, um, uh, if, if you want your life to be better and successful and this and that and the other, become a Christian and your problems will be over and you'll have a wonderful life and a wonderful future. It is not all about you or all about me. In fact, that's, that's, the, that's the problem with sin, is that uh, way back in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve wanted to uh, make their own choices. They wanted to be self-determined, as it were, um, and they, uh, they, they didn't accept the, <laughs> the sovereign rule of their Lord and Maker. And, and it, as a result of that, you know, I, me, myself... The, 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 the falls take a place and we've, we've lost connection with our good beginnings. And, and so becoming a Christian is, is all about finding afresh the beauty of the Lord, of, of the Lord Jesus, the, 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 the sovereignty of God, the bigness of, of God. You can see I'm interchanging my words here, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It's okay. It, 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 the Trinity is something we continue to get our head around. Um, and, and, and so Christianity is about bending the knee afresh and saying, Oh, Father God, you are astonishing. You have come <laughs> in the person of Jesus. You, you have walked among us. We, and, and as John tells us in his, in, in his, his, um, uh, in his letter, we beheld his glory. And, and and this this is the, the key. This is how we be, become Christians and how we go on through the Christian life. We get a glimpse of who God is. We get a glimpse of the glory of God. And we bend the knee and we say, Oh Lord, I need you 
in my life. Because the truth is, when, when, we, when, when that happens to us, suddenly our lives are back in, in, in the orbit that we were designed for. We weren't designed to spin around an orbit of I, me, myself. We were designed to spin in an orbit around the Son, the Lord Jesus. And, and when our lives are in kilter with him, then we find we've got peace with God and, and uh, we, we, we find the joy of the Lord. As John Piper says, he is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in him. And, and that's what being a Christian is. So the bigger vision that you have of the Lord, the bigger your understanding, your amazement, the, the, the greater satisfaction you'll have and the greater glory he will have. It, it all goes together. So Christianity is about the glory of God. And John, uh, uh, Paul is reminding these believers of the sufficiency of Jesus, the all sufficiency of Je oh, there's a song there. Uh, all, uh, um, who is it? Sings it. Um, it'll come to me in a moment. Uh, all sufficient one, I worship you. Shalom, my peace, my strong deliverer. Chris Bowater, that's it. <laughs> Faithful God, that's the song. I don't think I'll have time to sing it. So the Son, the Lord Jesus, is the image of the invisible God. A, a lot of people who um, would perhaps not call them Christians say, oh, I believe in God. I believe in the God of creation. And, and, and rightly so. I can fully understand people saying, yes, I believe there's a God. When you, I'm looking out the window. Uh, actually, I just realised I've got a telescope and a guitar here. That's very appropriate <laughs> with the things we're talking about. Um, it totally it wasn't by design but the world has been made by design a beautiful design and when you look through that telescope when you look at the, the, the moon at the stars just just look at the outer edges of, of things you get a sense of wow 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 the heavens declare the glory of God and that is true but you only get to see the real beauty of, of, of God in the face of Jesus Christ. You only get to see the loving, saving, redeeming, restoring heart and love of God in the face of Jesus Christ. It's all very well to have a sense of, 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 of bigness of a God out there. But what's he like? The Son, the Lord Jesus, is the image of the invisible God. He is. <laughs> That's where we see him. And of course, we spoke, we, I'm always using that verse, 2 Corinthians 4, 6. Um, for the God who said that light shine in darkness has shone into our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. So the Son, the Lord Jesus, he's the image of the invisible God. He's the firstborn over all creation. Before I comment on that second phrase, I just can't resist going to Hebrews chapter 1 to give you this lovely verse here. Um, the Son is the radiance of the glory, of, of God's glory. The exact representation of his being isn't that beautiful? The radiance, the beauty. And that's the thing that Jesus, you know, when Jesus was going back to his father, that one of the last things he prayed for you and me was that you and I would see his glory. Let's have a look. John 17. Father, I want those you've given to me to be, to be with me where I am, to see my glory, the glory that you've given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. I want, I want, he said, Father, I want them to see my glory. I want them to, to get, to, I want them to have the wow factor. So we're back to this delight thing. That's what Jesus prayed for. And then beyond everything else, that, that you would have a wow, a sense of wow as who Jesus is, his glory, his beauty, his majesty, um, that goes f further than telescopes, which th they give me a wow factor. But to see uh, as well as the, the magnitude of the, 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 the glory of God, the power of God, his, 
his loving kindness that we see in the Lord Jesus. My time's gone. I've hardly begun today. I've just done one phrase. The sun is the image of the invisible God. And I pray, oh Lord, show us your glory. I pray for everyone looking in this morning. Would you give us a greater glimpse of your glory? Warm our hearts with a, an ever greater sense of who you are, Lord Jesus. You're, you're the firstborn over all creation. We'll come back to that tomorrow. But Lord, you, you, oh, we're not just left guessing what God is like, this unknowable force of the universe. We've seen the beauty in the face of of our saviour we've seen the loving kindness of our god in the face and life of our saviour the lord jesus please show us more of your glory warm our hearts holy spirit as we contemplate these things this week i pray go with us now i pray warm our hearts in jesus name amen oh it's so hard to do this in 10 minutes <laughs> but i hope it's helpful bye now see you tomorrow